Hello everyone, welcome to some Dead Rising 3. Now, this is just some early gameplay. So I thought I would actually show you what the game is like running on the PC. So let's jump in. Now, I will have my playthrough coming up in two days time, uh, Saturday. Uh, it will be the part one that I've recorded already. Uh, so yeah, look forward to that, but basically this is just some gameplay to show you what the game looks like and how it feels and how it's running basically. So I will go through some of the settings and to show you how the game is like playing. There will be no spoilers in any of this. I'm just going to simply be running around. So, I'm just going to go into the menu here and we're going to go into the option settings. I'm going to go in the visual and as you can see here I'm running at uh, 1280 by 720p uh, basically for the quality uh, at 59 hertz. Uh, the graphics quality I have put this on medium but we can put on low here. Uh, I do have VSync on but those are my options. Uh, the game basically running on medium with so many zombies around it can get a bit hectic uh, with so many zombies on screen the game does uh, sadly lag and you probably will see that very soon but the game does kick you out um, and crash a lot so basically I've had to, uh, to play the game is basically have it on low to make it so it stops from crashing. This is what low looks like. So I am using an Xbox uh, 360 controller. Of course you can use the keyboard and mouse. I play it now. And you can use them both at the same time if you want. I actually really like that feature. I'm just going to get up on this table. So yeah, low doesn't look that good, but the game isn't 100% out yet. It will be coming out in two days time, like I said. So hopefully there will be some patches, uh, like day one patches to fix some of these graphics problems with the game crashing and that. Uh, the game itself, from what I've played of it, I've got to say, it's awesome. But of course, this is not a review or anything like that. Um, I've only just a tiny bit got into the game. Uh, but of course, you are going to see my playthrough that I will have up in the two days' time. Or if not, it might even be the day after if YouTube's schedule goes as planned. <laughs> I know compared to my Destiny uh, playthroughs that took a couple of days and basically they were uploaded one after one. So hopefully this will get uploaded sooner but we'll have to see. So this is the game world itself. It's huge. There's so many things going on at once. There's so much to the truth in graphics wise this game looks stunning when it's running good but as you can see there a bit of lag of course I am actually going to be streaming uh, some of this on my twitch as well on Dead Rising 3 you can see there jumping off that table there was a bit of lag and that's because it's on medium settings. If I put it on low, of course, it's not going to lag one bit. I do get about 60 frames per second on low. Uh, medium, I get 40 frames per second if lucky. But once you see how big this world is on the PC, it's quite impressive. As you can see there, there's so many zombies around. Pass 
You can actually get in cars as well. Uh, you, can, you could in Dead Rising 2, but there's just so much more variety in uh, vehicles to move around. So basically we're getting this car get off that zombie. <laughs> to see how good the game can run when running into so many zombies like that. And you can see that the game has so many zombies. Get off zombie. I'm hoping that the uh, voice quality and the game sounds actually good. I'm trying my best. I'm, of course, new to the YouTube business. But hopefully, this is going to be fine for when I do my uh, playthroughs. I will actually show you some uh, PC controls now with the controller locked in. So you can see that this is actually PC and not an Xbox One. So the best way to show you this is one, two. Yeah, I had to do them. There go. So playing the game using keyboard and mouse is actually really good. Uh, I've got to say, I'm quite impressed. The controls feel smooth, they don't feel off. But if you are using a controller, sometimes it lags from the input that you're using. Uh, so, example, if you're using the analog stick and holding down the sprint button like I am now, and you say you want to dodge out of the road, it's not going to do it 100%, so zombies might get to you before you try and push uh, the button on the controller. So, yes, just some tiny little issues get, can be pi uh, fixed in a patch. I certainly need some food here. The game is huge, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's bigger than I actually thought it would be. It's a lot of fun too, but of course, you have to play it yourself to find out. You know, you can watch, ah oh, damn it my shotguns, over there, damn it. Uh, you can watch videos on YouTube, but you need to actually play the game yourself to believe how good it is. It's just unbelievable how many zombies are on the screen right now. Uh, my specs for my machine, I'm actually running this on an Alienware 14 uh, inch laptop, which is the model that I put my review in, which is the M14X R3. So, yeah, this game is quite impressive when it comes to details and how much things are really on screen. I have never really experienced a game like this before. And I've got to say, it's a really good feeling to have, well, so many zombies around. Okay, maybe that's not a good thing, but it's quite impressive, I have to admit. Of course, uh, I definitely would say if you want to play this game on PC, definitely pre-purchase now. Uh, but of course, when making this video, it gets up on YouTube late. Well, uh, you maybe missed out on pre-purchasing this. But if you're just watching it, basically two days ago, uh, go, which would be today. Um, it's actually a Thursday, so fourth of September.
in Australian time, of course. Uh, I am Australian, that's where my accent is from. But yeah, definitely expect a playthrough. Uh, this yeah, game isn't out yet, but it is out in Japan uh, currently as of making this video. It's just come out. Don't ask me how I got in uh, to play it. But I can say it's worth it once you do get your hands on the game yourself. But of course, I will be streaming this game as well on my Twitch. Uh, and definitely, you're going to be able to see my playthroughs. This will not be the only game I will have playthroughs of, but it will probably be the most playthroughs for any game. Because look at how big this world is. It's huge. I'm just hoping that everything on YouTube with my sound quality of my voice and the game sound itself actually sound well my goodness. <laughs> wow. Sorry, sound actually good, but that's a lot of zombies. So yeah, that's me with the game crashed, and that's what I said. So, yeah, thank you for watching some PC early gameplay. Expect the playthrough to come out uh, basically this Saturday, if it's down screen. Uh, which, I'm, yeah, the 6th of the 9th, uh, 2014. So, yes, expect some gameplay this Saturday of the playthrough. Thank you all, and I will check you all later. Peace.